Have you ever had a need to gather all related files to a SOLIDWORKS design to create a copy or zip the files and send them to another SOLIDWORKS user? Well, SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go makes that task quick and simple while giving options to rename files as well as maintaining all file associativity no matter where the original files reside. It's also a useful tool for when working with MLC CAD systems technical support to send an entire file set to diagnose file specific behavior. Let's take just a few minutes to learn how to use SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go to create copies of files. SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go can be accessed from within SOLIDWORKS with a file open by selecting Pack and Go from the file drop down list. Pack and Go can also be accessed from Windows File Explorer by right clicking a SOLIDWORKS file and then selecting Pack and Go from the SOLIDWORKS flyout. When you launch Pack and Go from within SOLIDWORKS, the dialog opens with options to include drawings, toolbox components, suppressed components, simulation results, decals, appearances, and scenes. When you launch Pack and Go from File Explorer, the dialog opens with fewer options to include references. This dialog only includes drawings, toolbox components, and simulation results. For this video, I'll use the dialog open from within SOLIDWORKS. Under the options to include references, a list of the files and their references to be copied is displayed including the current folder location, save to folder location, file type, and the last date the file was modified. Directly under the file list, Pack and Go summarizes the quantity of files to be copied based on your selection. This is especially useful to ensure you have included all the required drawings for each part and assembly. The lower section of the dialog includes a file path for the save to folder or alternatively a path to create a zip folder which contains the entire file set. You can also choose to add a prefix or suffix as well as change the folder structure of the new file set. Once you're satisfied with your selections, simply click the save button to create a copy of those files. You can then open the copied files directly in SOLIDWORKS, which includes the updated file references. Lastly, I'd like to review just a few quick tips for using Pack and Go. You can control the visibility of columns by right-clicking a header and selecting Hide Column or Unhide Column. To rename a file to be saved, Double-click the file in the New File Name column and enter the new name. Just note that the file name must match the source's file extension type. For example, a part file must remain as an SLD PRT file extension. The File Locations button can be used to add contains or where used file locations to ensure Pack and Go is searching in the correct folders for the file references. And one last tip. You should only use Pack and Go for files in PDM when creating a copy of files to outside the PDM vault. To create copies for files within PDM, use the PDM specific tool Copy Tree to maintain PDM file references and version information specific to the PDM vault. Now that you know how to create copies of files including their references, get started using SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go to create copies of existing designs to reduce time spent recreating that data or share a full file set to other users including MLC CAD Systems technical support team.